He is named Kali. And the whitish yellow variety is named Gori. Both are equally rich in oil content. Now let us see how the trees are raised as a commercial crop. Simaruba seeds require an optimum soil moisture of 25 to 35 days for germination. A nursery is raised by planting the seeds in raised sand beds or in poly bags containing sand and soil in 3 is to 1 proportion. Two to three seeds are sown at one centimeter depth. After sowing, watering is done regularly once in a day. The seeds take 25 to 30 days for germination. When the seedlings attain four to six leaf stage, they are ready for transplanting in the main field. During rainy season, fruits falling from the mother tree germinate and grow into seedlings below the tree as well. They can be carefully picked up and transferred into poly bags containing nursery mixture. These saplings can be transplanted into the main field after one month as they attain pencil thickness at the stem base. From high-yielding mother trees, actively growing fresh shoots are selected for grafting. The shoots selected from the mother tree are known as scions. The thickness of the scion selected should match with the thickness of the rootstock sapling. When the graft union is successful, the buds begin to sprout on the scion. It takes 15 to 20 days for the grafted shoots to be accepted and integrated by the sapling. Pre-monsoon period is ideal for planting in the field. Pits measuring 45 by 45 by 45 centimeters are dug before planting. The polythene cover is removed and the grafted saplings are planted along with the soil mound. Care should be taken to ensure that the graft union joint is above the ground level. A spacing of 5 by 5 meters is recommended in areas of low rainfall and 6 by 6 meter spacing for areas with higher rainfall. Thus, in low rainfall areas, on an average, 400 plants, and in areas of higher rainfall, 280 plants can be grown per hectare. Care should be taken to ensure that all the trees will find adequate sunlight on their canopy. Better sunlight means better flowering, and so better fruit setting. While 
a non-grafted seedling takes five to six years to attain fruit bearing stage, the grafted ones start yielding fruits at three to four years of growth. In both Kali and Gori varieties, there are three types by way of flowering. Male trees producing only male flowers that do not bear fruits. Female trees producing only female flowers and fruit bearing is more in this tree. A third type of tree produces more number of male flowers and a few bisexual flowers. Here, only bisexual flowers bear fruits. Hence, the yield is very low. In Simaruba, pollination takes place through wind and honeybees. The fruitlets begin to develop and in about 90 days, the fruits ripen completely. In the Kali variety, the color of the fruitlets changes from green to pink and later to black when the fruits are completely ripened. In the Gori variety, the fruitlets become greenish yellow at the time of ripening. In both Kali and Gori, the oil content in the seed is around 70%. In a natural population of plants raised from seeds, about 50% of the trees develop into non-yielding male and low-yielding bisexual plants. To overcome this problem, Top working and grafting is done at the site after identifying such plants. Top working means cutting the trees at about 85 centimeters from the ground level. This is done during June to August. In about a month's time, the sprouts appear at the cut stem. Science from high yielding trees are selected and grafted to the sprouts in the cut stem. Thus, the non-yielding plants and low-yielding plants can be successfully converted into high-yielding female trees. These converted plants take two years to bear fruit. Certain amount of moisture around the plant helps in the healthy development of the oil tree. Mulching is an effective method for preserving moisture and to improve soil fertility. Leaf litter is gathered